What's up Digi friends? It's Sammy here with Digivangelism and today I'm bringing to you a short and sweet video of how to set up a Facebook page with new Facebook. So if you are a church leader and you have recognized your need for a Facebook page for some time and now you're going to make one for your church but you realize you have no idea how to do that on new Facebook or maybe even on old Facebook, this video is for you. But first we're gonna start with story time. Once upon a time in a land far far away that I like to call last week, I sat down right here and recorded a video for you about Facebook and how to make a Facebook page. But you know what? Then the Facebook gods came and said, hmm, we have new Facebook and we are going to give it to you. Here you go. New Facebook, be free. Take it, enjoy. And the world said, nah. So a lot of people are really not happy about new Facebook and I really looked at it and couldn't care less. To me, as a millennial who has been on Facebook for over 10 years now, which is just so weird to say, I'm just so used to Facebook like throwing weird things at us and us being like, whatever. I can actually remember in college when they gave us the Facebook timeline for the first time and I don't even remember what Facebook looked like before the timeline. Like, what was Facebook before you just scrolled through a timeline? I have no idea. But I do remember how crazy it made people. I mean, people were upset. They took Facebook and they just shook it up and everybody got all upset and mad and they didn't know what to do. And that's how new Facebook feels to me. Except for dark mode. People feel very happy about dark mode. So if you haven't seen new Facebook yet, you will soon because I think everybody is being forced into it very, very soon. Anyway, the reason I was a little upset, perturbed perhaps, at new Facebook is because I had already recorded this video for old Facebook. But we at Digivangelism recognize that technology adapts, social media adapts, and so we, if we want to be effective as church leaders in technology in the world today, we must adapt too. And with that, let's adapt to webcam mode. And now we are on my webcam. Isn't that a magical thing? I am now going to take you step by step through what it looks like to set up a Facebook page in dark mode. So you can just go on over to facebook.com. Just type that in the URL, facebook.com. I'm gonna start sharing my screen. All right, so I have blocked off a lot of the screen so that you're not getting distracted by what my friends are doing and different things that pop up on Facebook because Facebook is trying to distract you and draw you in. And I don't want that to happen. I want you to focus on what we're doing. So at the top, you'll see a URL, facebook.com. So there's two very cool new features of new Facebook here. And that is first dark mode. You'll notice that my screen is kind of darker than normal, right? You can make it white or you can make it black. And I chose the dark mode because it's nifty and I like it. So the other neat feature is that to create a page, you don't actually have to go to the page page and then find where the create button is. There is a universal create button here on the top right, this little plus sign right next to your name. And whether you're on the timeline page or if you're on your personal page, it actually should be right there. Click create, that little plus. And then you want to click page because what are we creating? A page, Facebook page, great. All right, so create a page is what you should see here. It might be all in white, it might be all in black. It's okay if it's white, it's okay if it's black, we're good. So page information, page name required. Uh, this is where you want to put the name of your church and we recommend you put the full name of your church. We recommend that you don't use abbreviations, that you make it very clear, you don't try to be funny. This is where people need to be able to recognize, you want to call it your church. Look at that, it's on the screen. All right, next up is the category. And we're gonna type church and see what they give us. Sometimes they give us different types of church. I'm okay with you just putting church. Um, that's not gonna be a huge issue for you either way. Description, write about what your business does, the service you provide or the purpose of the page. So you might wanna write your mission in here. And I'm actually gonna just pop in the Digivangelism mission here. Uh, short, sweet, to the point, your church exists to reach people online with the love of Jesus. That's why we exist, and you will want to put why you exist in there. Short, sweet is great. People can look at it, see exactly who you are, and move on from there. Let's create the page. All right, it says your church was created. You can now add images or go to your page to add more details. Great. So it looks like they actually start giving us the option here to add a profile picture, add a cover photo. Um, the difference between those, your profile picture is probably going to be your logo if you have one that you use and if it's clear. 
Um, and if not, perhaps a picture of your church, maybe a picture of the sanctuary, a picture of a prominent um, like figure, like a cross in your church would work totally fine there. Something recognizable and something that you'll probably keep for a while just so that people get used to seeing that as your logo, because that's going to pop up next to every comment you make, every post you make. People will get used to this is your church. So think of your church branding when you when you pop a profile picture in there. Your cover photo, that can change a lot more frequently, um, and really that can be anything. A picture of your church, a picture of your people, which is your church, ha! Huh? Um, you could put a nice Canva image. They do have templates for Facebook cover photos that will size it up perfectly and even give you some suggestions. You could put one of those templates in with your mission, perhaps, up there, or even a very temporary like Bible study theme or sermon series theme, something you're talking about lately that you want people to know about. So I'm going to pop in a profile picture and a cover photo here, just things I found online that were copyright free. Hopefully it goes without saying that I don't recommend that you just put stock photos on your Facebook page. You want these to be things that people recognize your church, your church, not my church, your church, for. And so it should really be particular to you. We'll save those. And look! Now we're at your church. Very cool. So now you have a church Facebook page. Like, you did it. That was it. I promise you. You did it. So I know that was short, but before we send you on your way, I just want to give you one piece of advice that's really helpful for anyone that owns a page on Facebook. And sometimes you can get a little confused about whether or not you're commenting or posting as the church or whether you're commenting and posting as yourself. Those are two different things on Facebook, and you probably don't want to confuse them because if I, Sammy, want to post as your church, and I am actually posting as me, Sammy, to your church's page, like if I wanted to say, hey church, you had a great service on Sunday, and I posted it to the page, that's fine, but I'm not posting that as the church then, I'm not um, reaching all the people that follow the church, and that's not what I want to do if I'm a leader of a church trying to make a post. So easy way, easy way, I promise, to know if you're doing this correctly. When you hit create post here, which Facebook makes it very easy to create posts, to add a photo video, um, you can say what you're feeling, <laughs> you can start a live, post an event, all these things, they're spelled out for you here. You got this, I promise. It might look like a lot, but Facebook wants to walk you through it. It wants you to use it. So create post. Just make sure that your church's profile picture is here. That's all you gotta do. So then you can write like, hey church, we just got a Facebook page. And then hopefully people will interact with that and like it and share it and tell their friends. Now the alternative here, if you click this view as visitor button and you are now, as yourself, you wanna tell the church something, um, you really don't ever need to do this, but if somehow you find yourself here in a situation where your profile picture is here, then you're actually writing to the church. You're not writing as the church. So just watch for that. The other, and then you can exit view as here if you're stuck in that. And then look, the church's logo is back. It was easy, I promise we made it. So the other place this comes into play is in comments. And sometimes as ministry leaders, we will post just like we did here as the church, post a profile picture and to strike up some engagement, to strike up some action, we'll actually switch from the Your Church logo to our own personal page logo so that we can comment on our, as ourselves and say, wow, this is so exciting. And the people behind the scenes know that you are commenting right to yourself and then probably gonna like it as your church and maybe even comment back and forth a little bit talking to yourself. But a lot of people that are just watching from the outside just see a church engaging with someone. So this little drop down next to the post and it's a lot easier on the computer. I'm not sure uh, every phone device might be a little different, but you click this little drop down and you'll see the first option here other than your church is your name. So once you do that, you can comment as yourself, looks great, church. And then once you do, you can just pop on back to your church and like that person's comment. And I'm not going to do this right now because this is not a real church and I don't want to confuse people if they should come across it. We're going to delete it right after this. So don't even bother looking for it. But I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope this gets you started, gives you some basics. And if you have any questions, please, please comment them below because I would love to address what other Facebook questions you have as a church so that you can do better online because whether or not that's where you want to be these days, 
that is where the people are. That's where your people are. And we believe those people need to have the healing, the life and the hope that Jesus Christ has brought to us. And we hope to bring it to them online. Thanks for watching. We brought the knowledge today. Now it's your turn to put it into action. Peace.